plan meets in this area because this is where they're planning the ever take of the world. I mean, once they take over the U.S., they'll be able to... This has actually been planned since Mason Dixon drew this line. It's been a conspiracy for a long time. And it's been in the planning stages for almost a century and a half. The idea is we trans the population in this area. We've got several uh, trans areas. We have the Mothman region, which goes out to West Virginia. We have a straight line from West Virginia up into the Alaskan area, which is part of the Harp region. H H A or H A A R P, which is part of the Harp region. Within the Harp region in Alaska. They develop a microwave energy system, which is the ultimate mind control device ever devised by man. They were supposed to stop it in the seven or in the 80s under the Reagan administration. It was part of the Star Wars administration's plan for an attack, a nuclear attack, but they never stopped it. Okay, the Mason-Dixon Line region, which is part of the Aberdeen Proving Grounds, which is one of the most advanced. Uh, military experimental regions in the world. It used to be Roswell. Roswell used to be the most advanced experimental area in the world. But Roswell was exposed because of all the alien controversy and all that stuff. So they, they switched it to Aberdeen. In Aberdeen Proving Grounds, all throughout Lancaster, Pennsylvania, they have underground shafts and in those shafts, they have trans-control microwave devices because they're experimenting. They're trying to figure out how they can do non-lethal warfare, where you don't really kill anybody, but you control. It's the ultimate control. Hey, you know, it's a control freak. I'm a control freak. You know, we're not going to kill anybody, but we're going to control everybody. Okay. Uh, elements, rogue elements, CIA. Uh, elements put devices all through the Mason-Dixon line region extending from Lancaster, Pennsylvania from the Aberdeen Proving Ground out to West Virginia out to Point Pleasant now you've heard, you've read I mean you, you don't want to watch the movie the movie's stupid but you read the Mothman Prophecies which is all about mind control Mind control is the ultimate weapon. You control somebody's mind, you don't have an enemy anymore. Enemy's gone. He's, you know, and you don't have to kill the guy. You know, he's in, you know, he wants to do what I'm says. Hey, you know, you don't have to kill the guy. That's the idea behind the new warfare. The new warfare is about mind control. Okay. There were several clans who did illegal pornography who learned how to use the drug Burradanga. Burradanga and its extract, Shocking Blue. Shocking Blue was developed by the chemists from the Martian Werewolf Clan when they used to bring people over from Africa during the Civil War. And before that, well, long before the Civil War, it stopped during the Civil War. It stopped. Hey, are you filming me? Let's give my whole story here. Yeah, I'm filming. What did you stop for? Okay, during the uh, Civil War, the Martian Werewolf Clan, which is an illegal operation, they used to bring black slaves. That's how the black slaves got to Africa. Most people don't understand. Black slaves came to Africa because of Burdanga. And its extract, chemist, made it even more potent, more powerful. Where a person could be tranced for years. And they would they wouldn't even know they were trans. They would do anything you say. Slaves. And basically that's what blacks were. They were slaves. That's the only reason they that's the only way they could get them to America was through this uh, trans drug. Burdang and extract, shocking blue. Okay. After the Civil War and the blacks were it was slave the slave industry no longer was, the Martian werewolf clan. Uh, didn't have a way to make a living anymore. So what they had to do was they started making pornography photographs after the Civil War. They started using the extracts from Burradanga. 
and they started trancing regular people out in the countryside. You can blow it into your face, you'll become trans, you'll have sex because it causes sexual arousal and, and this and that. And they started shooting photographs after the Civil War. They actually got into the film business later on. And this is like a historic family operation. They were all family members. The original Martian Werewolf Clan was uh, a family organization. And they still are, you know? It's like passed down. The art of trancing people has been passed down through generations. So they are very good at it. They know how to do it without a society or anybody knowing what's going on. They're very, very good. Okay. They sell these films to uh, mostly in Amsterdam and places like that. But now the U.S. government learned about the Martian Werewolf Clan. The, and because of their military taxi, tactics with non-lethal warfare, still listening? Yes. Non-lethal warfare decided that they wanted to use their knowledge after like 300 years of, of uh, trans drugs and trans technology and everything else. So they got them into this area, the Mason-Dixon Line area, which is actually the military uh, experimental trans warfare thing. It's called ETWZ by all the military operatives and and things in the Mason-Dixon line region. Okay. Now, the uh, Mothman region, which is Point Pleasant, Harrisburg State Hospital, which is two of the main mental institutions that they used to experiment with people on for this new experimental trance warfare zone region that they wanted to learn about, non lethal warfare, and experiment. And that's why they brought the Martian Werewolf Clan into the CIA operatives and also into the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Now, the Aberdeen Proving Grounds trades and sells their technology to the world, their warfare technology. Most people don't know that. You know, they, they learn how to kill people and they sell it. You know, they sell this technology or how to control somebody. I mean, warfare is all about control or getting what you want. It's not necessarily about killing people. It's about you know controlling people and getting what you want, and this is the ultimate technology. Is microwave technology from H A R R P in Alaska, which is still going on. People are trying to stop, and the trance technology, which is used for non-lethal warfare, which they actually used in Iraq in the first war, but because of the Geneva Conventions, they weren't actually allowed to really enact it. They had to shoot them in the head. I had to shoot people in the head, bang, bang, bang. Instead of saying, hey, I trans this guy, he's he's out, he's out. But even though he's out, uh, this is against the Geneva Convention. They disallow this, so I have to kill the guy. Sorry. Bang, 